Hey everybody, today I want to give you a tutorial on how to use Google Draw or Google Drawing to make a timeline for your project. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do, you need to go over to your Google Drive like I am now. Go into your English folder, so because anything that you create within your English folder will stay in that folder and that way you don't have to worry about turning it in, it'll already be there. So go to Google Drive, find your English folder that you've already shared with me and then open that folder up and you should see all of your assignments in it when you get there I want you to click new over here where my cursor is on that blue button click new and then we're gonna select more and then from there we're gonna select Google drawings okay so go ahead and do that if it gives you this option to create and share that's what you want to do you're sharing it with me via the folder okay so um, once you go to Google Drive and select Google Drawing. It's going to pull up the screen that you see right here on mine. Um, from there, you're going to use this canvas to create your timeline. So it's small now. You can zoom in if you want to. Um, the zoom in features over here, these little dots, you can make it bigger, smaller, however you need to look at it to help you. Uh, but the first thing that you want to do is give it a title. So, for example, mine's going to be um, my name. So I'm just going to put, let's go last names. That may be easier. So I'm going to be Ramsey. And then I want you to put the invention that you, i tell you what, that's getting too long. Let's just put our name and then we'll write the word timeline in there. That way I'll know what file I'm looking at. So mine is Ramsey timeline. Then I got to start making this timeline. So what I want to do is use a line. So you can see my cursor here. I'm going to select the line feature, and then I'm going to try to figure out where the middle is the best I can. And then I'm going to draw a line all the way across. And this is going to be the basis for our timeline. So that looks pretty straight. So there we go. Now I'm going to select the arrow or the cursor, so that way I can grab my line and move it up and down to make sure it's right in the center. And look at that. Mine was perfect the first time. If you don't get it perfect the first time like me, no problem. Uh, you just click on this thing and you can move it up and down until you hit the sweet spot. And you can kind of see that red line just underneath the blue one there. All right, so once you have your timeline, uh, the base for it, you're ready to start putting in actual events. So uh, if my timeline is for the mobile phone, for example, and I have a completed one over here that you can see. Uh, one of the first things that I want to do is put a title on it. Okay, You can do that first or last. It doesn't really matter. But to put a title on there, you're going to use a text box. And you're going to drag it over. And so if I want mine to say mobile phone, oops, if I could spell, there we go, mobile phone. Now you want to change the font. Just highlight it. Well, again, it would help if I could spell. Remember, they didn't make me pass the spelling test to get this job. So I can change the font, whatever I like. You guys already know, Patua 1 is my favorite. So I like that one. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than that. And then I want to just tighten up my text box a little bit. And I may want to make sure this is centered so it looks really, really good. I'm going to just make this a little bit smaller so it's not taking up all the real estate on the page. And then inside, I want to, um, I want to add some colors here. Okay, so let's see if I if I do the right click. Nope, I'm not seeing where I can add colors. Ah, oh, here it is. I'm sorry. So now that I'm in there, I can fill this color. And let's say I want it to be a gray. I can put that gray in there just like that. And you can even change this color to whatever you like. Let's go gray and maroon since those are school colors. So this is the mobile phone. Now that I have my title, and you can move this later on when you're ready to do it, you can just grab this and move it around all over the page so um, you can put it wherever it fits the best but when it's time to start putting those entries in you're going to use another line and you're going to come off of this big line and you're just going to draw up however far you want to go if you want it to be way up here you can do that and let's say that what it, oops if i make a mistake I, i'm using a macbook so i hold command and i press z and you see it goes away if you're using a chromebook or another type of computer um, it'll be the control Button. You can hold that and press Z. That's your magic undo button. Or obviously you could come up here and click undo there. Um, in any case, 
whenever you draw your, your line to begin your timeline, you're going to get another text box. And let's say, um, just to flip back over here, I've drawn my line. In my text box here, I've entered the date and a small um, little bit of information, just a brief little blurb about what's going on there on that date. And then I tried to find some images. Okay, now <clears throat> for mine, you can see there's 1921 and then something happened, whatever it is. Right, and obviously yours will have some real specific information there for yours. And you can move this around. So let's say you want it over here, maybe off to the side or something of your line. That gives you plenty of space to put a picture in there. Now, when I'm searching for pictures, like when I was doing the mobile phone, I, I would come into Google and I would just type in like, uh, let's see, um, first mobile phone. Let's try that. Whenever the uh, you select images, here we go, Google. When you select images, you can go in here to settings. Uh, excuse me, not settings. Tools is what we want. Tools, and where it says usage rights, you can change that to say that it's um, labeled for reuse with modification. So if you're going to crop a picture at all, you're going to modify it. So I might look for something labeled um, that I could reuse and modify at the same time. So let's say like this is probably... Um, a really early, early mobile phone. This is a, definitely another mobile phone here that you can see. Um, they've come a long way in a short time. So I might, let's say I just want this image. This is the one that I'm looking at. I can save my image and I'll save it to, uh, I'm just going to save mine to the desktop so it's really easy for me to find. And I'm going to put first mobile phone so I'll know what it is. I hit save. Now it'll download it and on my screen. You can see it down here, which makes it really, really easy. Because then I can just come back to my uh, my timeline and just drag and drop it on there. And then see, 1921, something happened. There it is. Uh, let's see. First mobile phone invented. Let's see. This one, 1973. Dr. Martin Cooper invented the first mobile phone that doesn't require a car. If I wanted the image there, I could draw my lines. You know, let's say we're down here 1973. I can draw my line down here. I can grab a text box, put it right in there, and then 1973, first mobile phone invented that doesn't need a car. Boom. Oh, that's long. It got all over my picture. What do I do? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this over a little bit so that we can all see it. And you can rearrange yours as much as you need to, okay? I want you to try to find about seven different um, items to put on your timeline. Um, and you just have to move some things around until it fits, all right? Anything more than like seven or so is going to be really tough. Okay, so now you basically have the basics of how to do your timeline. Let's take a look at a completed one real quick before I turn you loose, okay? Um, so here's mine. Uh, I've got a title on mine, and mine you can see has a border. So what you have to do is you have to click the border color and actually give it a color. And then it'll show up for you just like that. And again, you make it whatever font you like. Um, I, I chose a, a different kind of font. This is a font called Fascinate, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I like that one. In any case, you're going to choose whatever font you like. It's going to, you're going to have a timeline that's going to look very similar to this one where it, you have your lines coming off, you have your information there, it has a title. We can print these off in color, and then on the night of the museum, we'll also display this information along with the invention that you create. Okay, guys? So if you have any questions about how to use Google Draw to create your timelines for that assignment, ask them in class, okay? Peace out.